Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and this is my video series on practical JavaScript, where I walk you through the algorithm challenges at freecodecamp.com. In this video, uh, we're not going to look at any of the challenges. It's another prep video uh, to get you excited, to get you pumped up. Um, if you've been following along from the beginning, uh, we, we have just finished the intermediate section. It had uh, 21 challenges. And, um, well, if you're still sticking around, if you're still loving coding, congratulations. And um, Intermediate was, uh, it, it was challenging, um, especially because um, the, the range of possible solutions for any challenge, uh, you, you started to, uh, hopefully you started to realize that um, the more complex the problems are, uh, the, the more, you know, possible solutions there could be. And whereas in the beginning section, uh, there you know, there's only so many ways that you can reverse a string, and the challenges you know, tend to be you know, quite limited. In the advanced section, um, you're going to be in for one hell of a ride, because um, I mean, the I don't think you know you'll have to learn any more you know JavaScript syntax or you know, any kind of like, you know, special, you know, punctuation. Um, by now you have a wide range of vocabulary, JavaScript vocabulary. And if you're missing something, if you have some gaps, hopefully by now you know how to ask uh, good questions in Google and Stack Overflow and websites like that. Hopefully by now you um, can, you know, feel comfortable and confident going through the documentation um, uh, through, you know, MDN or, you know, some other place like that. Um, in the advanced section, it, it's not about, like, the, the technical specifics of the JavaScript programming. It's really understanding uh, what the problem is and trying to break it up into its smallest you know, parts, smallest components. And some of the... Well, not some. A lot of the challenges in the advanced section um, are, uh, I guess, a bit contrived, and uh, I feel like they don't, you know, represent real-world, you know, programming challenges that you'll have um, at, at your job. Um, for example, the first challenge, uh, the, the next video that you'll see, is validating U.S. telephone numbers. And we have to use a really long regular expression in order to do that. In the real world, um, you probably wouldn't have time to spend four or five hours to uh, you know, write a function that can uh, you know, validate um, a U.S. telephone number with all of these different formats. You would probably use someone else's code or some third-party library um, to, to do this sort of stuff, validating phone numbers, email addresses, or URLs. Um, why? Why would you do that in the real world? Because your time is limited and, you know, hundreds of other developers have already gone through the trouble of, uh, of writing, you know, this code um, and tested it and uh, made, you know, changes and, and made it really, really good. So, you know, why, why reinvent the wheel? Why start from scratch? Um, so, you know, for that reason, uh, I think a lot of the advanced um, challenges are contrived because in the real world, you would just go out and, you know, get someone else's code. Um, however, um, I think the advanced challenges really is going to break you down and build you back up. Uh, the advanced challenges that it, it will make it disciplined um, in that it will help you, you know, uh, it will teach you how to take complex problems and break them down into uh, smaller parts. Um, and, and that's what, you know, programming is all about. So if you feel frustrated, uh, if you're spending a lot of time on these advanced, uh, advanced challenges, I totally understand. Um, to put it in perspective, the intermediate section uh, had 21 challenges and Free Code Camp estimated uh, that you needed, you know, 50 hours to complete those 21 intermediate challenges. There's only nine advanced challenges, yet Free Code Camp still estimates it's gonna take most people about five to six hours. 
uh, for each challenge, so about 50 overall. So if you're spending five to six hours or even more on a single advanced challenge, you are normal. <laughs> you are about normal. If you're, you know, if you're, you know, cracking these, if you're solving these and, you know, <laughs> like an hour or less, my hat's off to you. You must be some sort of intelligent genius um, because uh, I remember some of these taking me several days to, to wrap my head around. And um, it, it, anyway, yeah, um, you're going to feel frustrated. You're going to really hate JavaScript and just programming in general during these challenges. Fight through it. Keep hacking away. If you get stuck, you need to ask for help. So go out on the internet and... Uh, and you know post a question reach out to me post a comment or you know uh, go to your local free code camp um, you know site if you're not in busan if you're in, in a, another city uh, reach out to the members there go to gitter there's so many resources for you so uh, don't do it alone if you get stuck on an advanced challenge it's normal you're not stupid coding is not easy it's really really difficult and you just need to ask for help. Okay, but you're almost there, and this is the home stretch. And if you can get through these nine challenges, these final nine algorithmic challenges, then that's it. All of the algorithm challenges will be over, and then you can focus on you know more cool practical projects, uh, you know, making games and doing all sorts of sweet stuff. And if you can finish all of these challenges. You, you can basically do anything that you want to in any programming language um, because these are difficult and, uh, and uh, yeah, I think this is going to make or break you. If you stick with me, it'll make you. If you do it alone and, uh, and uh, you know, throw in the towel if, if, you know, for not getting it you know, right away, well, these challenges are going to break you. So stay strong, happy coding, and I will see you in the next video where we will validate U.S. telephone numbers. Goodbye for now.